At this time, it's my pleasure to turn the program over to a veteran of the Orioles broadcast team, familiar voice to Baltimore Orioles fans. Please welcome Jim Hunter. Thank you, Don, very much, and uh, hi, everybody. And as I look out at this uh, ballroom, this is uh, my 17th welcome home luncheon, which is amazing because I have not aged a bit uh, in 17 years. But this is easily the best attended welcome home luncheon in my memory. So uh, a round of applause for you, for the business community, for coming out and supporting your Baltimore Orioles. Uh, certainly, we'd like to thank Don and the Greater Baltimore Committee for hosting this event. They do just a wonderful job, and as you can see, the amount of effort and planning that goes into this. Uh, they've been partners with the Orioles now for over 30 years, and you can see the extent they go to make this a night afternoon for everybody. Now, in a couple of minutes here, we're going to introduce the 2013 edition of your Baltimore Orioles, a team that certainly uh, has now a solid foundation uh, built upon the young talent that has come through the system, some key trades, some key off-season acquisitions, and uh, there's a lot of depth. As uh, Mr. Weaver used to say, there's deep depth in this organization now, and it, it certainly uh, showed last year with 52 players coming through the Orioles and already a couple of player moves this year. Now, having watched this team go through Sarasota and now into the season 12 games in, one of the things that, that I think is becoming noticeable is, and this really goes back to last year, if you, you look at the way the season went last year, from August 1st on last year is when it really all came together. The Orioles had the best winning percentage in all of Major League Baseball from August the 1st on. That got them into the playoffs, 93 wins overall. And then the wild card win at Texas, which was incredibly exciting. And then the two home playoff games, which I, I know many of you probably were there. That was easily the most electric that the uh, crowd was at Camden Yards in, in certainly recent memory, but it was, uh, it was really exciting. And, a lot of people ask me out in the hallway here, well, you know, are they going to be good again? And the, and the easy answer is, well, yeah, because they're the same team. And last year, this team learned how to come together as a team. There, there's a, a saying that uh, some baseball people use from time to time that uh, as a group, you have to learn to win together. Well, this is a cohesive unit. It is one team. There's a calmness to this team. If they have a bad day and they all have bad days, everybody in Major League Baseball does is, Ray Miller, our former pitching coach, used to say, you know, the other side gives scholarships too. So there's, there are people out there that uh, certainly on a day like what happened last night with Corota, the guy was on his game and it happens. But this team doesn't let that bother them. They just show up the next day and they're, they're ready to go. And that, that's a trait that over the course of a long year, because this is a marathon, certainly will benefit them because they show up every day expecting to play well and expecting to win. And I think you could see that in their performance from day in and day out. So now we're going to introduce the players, and as I introduce each player, as Don mentioned, uh, when I give the table number, please hold up your table number. It's a bit dark as they come down uh, so the players know where to go. So first, we always introduce him first. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your friend and mine, the Oriole Bird, Mr. Shy. Mr. Shy. 